Hey y'all, I'm back today and today I'm going to give you five quick tips on your homeschooling journey. Around here, we are about to go back to school. A lot of people are choosing to homeschool this year because of the uncertainty that's going on in our world, which is great in my opinion because I love homeschooling. Absolutely love it. It's been such a blessing in our life. Let's get something out of the way first. I had to learn this myself. I have four kids. They were in public school before we decided to homeschool and I grew up with educators in my family. So this was really hard for me to understand and comprehend and learn that number one, it's not the public school system. So don't compare your homeschooling journey to the public school system because homeschooling is completely different than public schooling. And the main thing that I had to learn or relearn really was that all kids are different. You know, you hear all through your life, we're all different, we're all unique. And I guess as I grew up, I always knew that, but then I forgot if that makes sense. And the one thing that I really had to relearn was that all kids are different. Every single one of them, even in a family. My oldest son is completely different than my oldest daughter. And my youngest daughter is completely different than my oldest daughter. And that goes for not just personalities, but for learning and learning styles. So now that we got that out of the way, just remember, kids are like fingerprints. They're all different, including learning styles. Number one, don't be afraid to change your curriculum. Yes, I said it. I know for us, we have tried several different things and it just wasn't a great fit. We got to a good stopping point, like I'd say at the end of the semester, and we decided to change it or we even went a year for one curriculum and that was brutal. Go ahead and change it up. If it doesn't fit your child's needs and your needs as a family, switch it up. Number two, Make a schedule for your family. Sit down with your family, your kids, your spouse, and decide what your day is gonna look like or what your week's gonna look like. Now for me, on Sunday evenings, I take a little bit of time and I go through and I look at my planner, look at what you have to do the week. Make checklists for the day. I know that helps me because I look at my planner and then I write down things, what I need to do, and I like to, I like the, satisfaction of crossing things off my list <laughs> and so I cross things off my list and I know that they're done for the day. I'll even do that with Caden when he is doing his independent work. I will create a list for him and say this is what you need to have done. Bring it to me so I can grade it and I'll give him his work page, his work page numbers that he has to do in his book and he will do them because he is in the upper grades of middle school so he is more independent. Some curriculums, if you're not a planner, it's totally fine. Some curriculums have it planned for you. Now for the littles, I use a checklist system and I've been homeschooling. This is going on our third, fourth year and we still use a uh, checklist system because the little kids, it's just easier for them to stay on track because let's face it, kids are kids and their attention spans are like big. We also use a reward system. In many schools, they use a treasure box for the week. If you have good behavior with a reward system, you know, you can do uh, stickers, you can do a chart, you can do colors. We do a reward system as well. And if they have all of their things done um, by the end of the week, they get to go to five below and pick out one thing. And that is just us having to not stay on top of them, kind of teaching them responsibility and how, kind of how the world works. You do a good job at your job, you get rewarded with money. And if you don't do your job correctly or you don't do it at all, you don't get paid. So this is also kind of integrating real world life lessons on a lower level. So we use a reward system. Now you do not have to go to Five Below every week and get your kids something or Dollar Tree or Walmart or whatever. You can go and buy a big bag of candy, toss it in a 
a jar and put it on top of your refrigerator you know keep a track on your refrigerator or wherever and then at the end of the week you can let them go pick out something so oriental trading is a great place if you don't want to do candy they have fun little things that are super 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 cheap i love oriental trading and they send you free catalogs in the mail number three read 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 i cannot stress this enough read to your kids all the time day and night i'm not joking read 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 did i say that again read it has been proven by so many different studies that if you read to your child that their vocabulary enhances their learning enhances just they grow as a person not only educationally but as a person some of the things that i have found to be super helpful is read aloud time we have a morning basket this is our morning basket and every single morning or whenever we decide to sit down sometimes during the summer when we are schooling it's during the hottest part of the day and we sit down in the afternoon and we do this but this is our basket our morning basket that we use and inside it we have a bunch of different things we have all sorts of books now these books are what we use for our read aloud time we're currently going through the magic tree house revolution because the month of july we are studying all about the american revolution i also have like who was paul revere so we'll read this and we'll spend 15 minutes to 20 minutes reading out of these books we also have poetry in here and so we'll spend a little time doing that and then we have just some general knowledge books and some trivia and some mad libs but we usually have this read aloud time whatever unit study we are studying for the month so july we are studying all about the american revolution so i just tried to find books that were around the time period or about the people and we read 15 to 20 minutes every day out of this you want to make sure you're reading at or above the child's reading level utilize apps i cannot stress this enough use the apps on your phone your tablet your tv all sorts of apps that are available for reading i know our local library and many local libraries if you have a library card you can upload your number to it and you can download books digitally for the little ones there are some that are called read to me and they actually like pete the cat will have a book and it will read the pete the cat book to them virtually and it'll flip the pages and it lights up the words so they know they can follow along and you don't have to worry about fees because it automatically sends it back when you're time is up audiobooks we love audiobooks audiobooks is something that i fell in love with the very first year we started homeschooling during our lunchtime we will grab our alexa or if you don't have an alexa that can do play an audiobook um, there's different podcasts and different apps again apps on your phone that you can download that will stream audiobooks for free. Also, you can use audiobooks in the car. You can listen to an audiobook out in the yard. Grab your phone, tablet, whatever, go outside, jump on the trampoline, work in the garden, go collect eggs, and you can have your audiobook with you at all times. Number four, plan and organize this kind of goes back to make a schedule but this is also very important planning and organizing is something you need to do not a planner not an organizer there are curriculums out there that will plan and organize things for you it will say oh you need to do this lesson on this page and read pages 45 through 52 then do workbook page 13 and it will say graded do by and then was it completed it breaks it down for you which I kind of like because I'm kind of busy around here so I always try to find a curriculum that leans towards that that kind of gives me an outline on where we need to be I love my planner it is just a planner that I was given by my mom and I think she got it at 
Hobby Lobby maybe, but it is by the month and then by the week and I'm able to go and plan out what we're doing. Also have a family calendar on our refrigerator and I write important dates down there and the kids know when they have tests, they know when things are due. Number five, this one is super important. And this one we had to save up our pennies for because we are a cash only family. Invest in good materials. What does that mean? I'm talking about pencil sharpeners. So this guy right here is one of my favorites. We've had him for about a year and a half maybe. But before that, we went through pencil sharpeners like crazy. I think I paid like 20 bucks for this at Walmart. This one is one of my favorites. It's electric. Um, you can get the hand crank ones, but I will tell you, we went through like the little portable ones. We went through those like crazy. They would break. Get yourself a good pencil sharpener. Get yourself a laminator. And this one is a Scotch brand. And I got this one at Walmart, but I've seen them on Amazon. I've seen them at Target. They're like 20 bucks, I believe. I got mine on, it was like rollback for like 17 bucks. Plug it in and pop it out like that. And then you just feed it through to go straight through. Why do you need a laminator? Here's an example. Carly has a number chart and we use this number chart every single day. I don't wanna have to keep printing this out. So I laminated this and then she can take dry erase marker and she can write all over this and we can wipe it off. It's great for things like that. If something that is going to be used every single day, you're going to want to laminate it. Printer. Get yourself a reliable printer. Before we had a Canon and I was buying ink all the time because we were printing off stuff all the time. So this past year we went and bought an HP. Now we paid like 30, 40 bucks for it. It was one that I could copy and I could print. It's also linked to HP Ink. If you have not heard about HP Ink, you are definitely missing out. And what this system is, is I type in what kind of printer I have and it monitors our ink level. And when our ink starts to get low, they send us a new one in the mail. In fact, I got one today because it said, your ink is low and one's on the way. So I will get whatever color, I think it's black that I'm almost out of, they'll ship it to me in the mail, they'll send me a little baggie that I can put the old one in and with a return label and I can just pop it in the mail and I don't have to leave my house. They have plans starting as low as $2.99, $2.99. So you can go as little or as high as you want. I think it's like 20 bucks is the highest one that you pay monthly and it keeps a tracker for you so you know how many sheets you have printed for the month. And if you don't use you know, all of your sheets that month, you can either downgrade or upgrade or sheets can roll over to the next month. So definitely take a look at HP Ink and getting an HP printer. I know, um, I think it's Epson. They use now have like the, the ink tank, the eco tank. Those I've heard are really good too, and they're supposed to last a really long time. Invest in a good printer. Also, there are things that you can buy at the Dollar Tree that you're going to need. Clipboards for everything. Just your basic clipboard. We got these at Dollar Tree. I got four of them for $4. Why do you need clipboards? These are great, so like if you're taking a test and your child needs to be in an area, so you have other children like me that are learning and they're talking to you, but say, you know, my daughter needs to go in another room where it's quiet and she can think, she can have this to take with her put her test on it and she can go in the other room and she can take the test. Check out Dollar Tree. When it comes to big things like a laminator, pencil sharpener, printer, that is where you definitely need to make the investment and purchase something that is actually going to last. So if you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe down at the bottom. You'll see a little bell, go ahead and click that. That way you get notifications anytime we are uploading a video. 
we try to do Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for our upload. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it this Friday because it is Jason's birthday as he's turning 30. I hope that you have a great homeschooling journey this year. Don't let it scare you. You got this. It is easier than you think. Don't overanalyze like I did. And y'all take care. Bye, y'all.